Hi everybody, welcome to Sandra's Art Studio. Today we're doing a project and it's all about self-help. So lately I've been doing a bunch of projects that are about self-help because I'm very intrigued about how art can be, you know, helpful for us, not just good for decorating the walls, which I love decorating the walls and it's really fun if you get to do a project and decorate your walls, that's a good thing. So this project is all about connecting ourselves to everything, just being more connected. And I'll explain as I go in this video, because uh, maybe some of you guys already identified that these are the chakra colors, or maybe you guys identified that these are the rainbow colors, or maybe you guys are looking at like these are just basic colors, but it doesn't matter how you look at it. What matters is that when you do a project like this, you actually put a little bit of intention into this project and then you can check six months later and see what happens, you know, did it work? I think it's working already. Like I think some of the projects that I've been doing are already having an impact on my day to day or the way I see things or my attitude in general. And maybe this is the project that you've been looking for all along. Maybe this is the one thing that is going to talk to you, speak to you better. Because it turns out that art, when we do things on paper, when we do this art on paper and we set ourselves with an intention. Um, so let's say in this project here, it's all about connecting ourselves, okay, to our higher spiritual self, to our the great divine, uh, to God, to the universe, however you wanna, whatever you wanna call it, right? To a higher power, okay? So all of that, you, you want to connect a little bit better and you've been trying all kinds of things. Let's say you've been meditating and you've been trying to think positive and you've been trying to do things this way and that way and you're still not seeing the results that you think you should have had. Maybe you, you wanna try this because it's pretty amazing that by us drawing on a piece of paper, we can actually set intentions, okay? And we can connect directly to our subconscious mind. That's amazing to me, to actually connect to your subconscious mind directly. Okay, that, that's amazing to me. If, it, if that doesn't like, I don't know what does. Um, so anyway, I'm going to explain step by step what is it that we're doing in this project and i'm so glad you guys are joining me if you're seeing results you know please let me know i know i kind of like just got started and i'm sorry about skipping last sunday but i had an emergency so sorry it happens uh anyway i hope all five of you my my audience <laughs> i'm just kidding um 25 <laughs> just kidding so i hope you guys didn't miss me too much but um at this early game I think I can get away with things like that. So, alrighty, let's get started with this project. You're gonna love it. So here I'm starting with some very simple materials and I'm going right into the colors that I'm using for this creation. And I want to just get my background with the chakra colors. Starting with red, which it represents our root chakra and it's related to survival and instincts, our sense of grounding and connection to our physical body. The orange color represents our sacral chakra, which is related to our desires and pleasures, creativity and sexuality. Yellow is for the solar plexus, which it represents our willpower and ambitions. Green is for our heart chakra, which is related to love, compassion and acceptance. Blue is for our throat chakra, which it represents communication. Darker blue or indigo is for our third eye which is for perception and intuition and purple is for the crown chakra which it represents our spiritual connection and now that my background is ready and dried i can do my little meditating character and that is a representation of me if you can't draw this then just go ahead and draw a circle it's not a big deal and i'm doing the whole character with i started off with a water uh, pencil and then I moved on to uh, acrylic paints and all the lines that are going on the bottom towards the bottom are actually my connection to earth and to the physical plane that's the representation and then all the lines that are above and going upwards are my connection to my higher spiritual self to the universe to God okay 
So now what I'm doing after I have all of my squiggly lines, and you want to make them very organic, okay? You're not going to aim straight up or, or straight sideways. You want squiggly lines. All of these squiggly lines represent your neuro lines, like your neuro connections. And as you see on the graphic, uh, when this is all done, it, it's going to be very similar to what's going on in our own head, in our own neuro cells. So here you see where I'm actually rounding the corners. So what that means is when you round the corners, you are making these sharp points that subconsciously so they are a threat, like a knife is pointy, so like a thorn is pointy. And then when you round these corners up, they actually become friendly subconsciously and you are making these connections. And the whole time that you're doing this project, you want to consistently stay on the subject mentally, okay? You want to consistently think about what is it that you're doing? What is the purpose of this? So here, in my case, the meditating um, body in the center is a representation of me and all the squiggly lines. It's a representation of my connection to Mother Earth and to the higher spiritual self and to the universe. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm focusing all the time. I'm not chewing gum. I'm not watching a show. I'm not listening to somebody talk. I'm not even getting interrupted by my cell phone or anything like that. I even asked my husband to just stay away from me when I'm doing this little project. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't move the paper around. You always want to keep it in the same position because if you're slightly uncomfortable, that's actually a good thing, getting out of your comfort zone. And the last thing you want to do is date it on the back and write down what the intentions were with this project and then check back in six months. I do recommend that you do this like, you know, once a week or once every other week and kind of like just drive that into your subconscious with a little bit of time out for yourself. To me, I use it as a meditative tool and I love what it's been doing for me so far which that will be a great video for me to do in the near future based on all of these drawings that I've done. And these are the results. So thank you for watching and I hope I see you next Sunday. Bye.